Hi, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about a movie which is all about a group of young adults are opening up a camp crystal lake after 20 years. And the place have been debuted as a cursed camp where two young counselors were brutally murdered and a young boy drowned. The film is a 1980 horror mystery drama and it titled as Friday the 30th. In 1958, at a crystal camp lake, two counselors sneak inside a cabin to have some intimate moment where an unseen assassinate murders them. In the present time, camp counselor and Annie Cook is driven halfway to reopen Camp Crystal Lake by truck driver Inos. Inos warns her about the camp's troubled past, beginning when a young boy is drowned in a lake in 1957. After being dropped off at the half point, Annie hinges another ride from an unseen person who eventually slits her throat. At the camp, counselor Ned, Jack, Bill, Mercy, Brenda, and Alice, along with the owner Steve Christie, reambitious the cabin. As a thunderstorm approaches, Steve leaves for supplies. Ned sees someone walks into a cabin and follows. While Jack and Mercy have some intimate moment, they are unaware of Ned's dead body about them. When Mercy leaves for bathroom, Jack's throat is prized with an arrow. The killer kills Mercy next with an axe. Brenda hears a little boy's voice calling for help and venture outside where the light turns on and Brenda screams. Worried by their friend's disappearance, Alice and Brill investigates. They find the axe in Brenda's bed and a phone's disconnected. Steve returns and recognizes the unseen killer who stabs him. When the power goes out, Brill goes to check on generator. Alice finds his body pinned with arrow to the door. She flies to the main cabin where Brenda's body is thrown through the window. Mrs. Wools, a middle-aged woman who claims to be the friend of Steve, arrives. She reveals that her son Jackson was the young boy who drowned in 1957 and she blames his death on neglected by the counselors because they were having some intimate moment instead of supervising him. Revealing herself as a killer, she attempts to kill Alice. At the shore, they struggle until Alice is unable to decapitate her. Exhausted, Alice falls asleep inside a boat that floats out on Crystal Lake. And when she awakes, Jackson's decomposing crops drags her into the lake. At which point she awakens in hospital, surrounded by police and medical staff. And police says that there were no signs of a boy at a lake. To which Alice says, then he is still there. The film Friday the 13th may have been panned by critics when first released. But since then it is the one of the most famous and influential horror films. The franchise containing one of 
horror's most ironic villains i suppose the story is pretty much known by everyone know and i even think the identity of the mysterious killer of this episode isn't that much of a mystery anymore in the end of the story a convincing explanation clarifies what have happened and this is all about this movie review and if you do like our videos please do support us by like share and subscribe thank you